ego is a word that we keep hearing again, again and again. But what is it fundamentally? The day that you were born. We already enslaved you with a name that you must keep, with a nationality that must be your identity, with a religion to follow, or with ideology to deeply respect. And this is the very moment when ego begins to exist. As a child, we do not even know truly our name when we are first born, even if somebody speaks it. But our subconscious is already gathering data intensely so that it makes sure the system has what is necessary in order to survive and be alive. So it goes on recording everything that it hears and that it sees. And as a baby, you did not choose the way that you dress. But the parent does. And sometimes they will decide that this child will have a specific kind of clothes. Maybe you love rap music and you want your kid to be stylish toward your fashion. Maybe you love rock and roll and you want your children to wear more black clothes. Maybe you have a religion and you will give him or her the clothes of your religion. But whatever it is, the child will recognize what he or she is wearing and the subconscious will recognize the people who wear the same and automatically the subconscious mind will try to make you act as the people who dress the same as you act will begin to make you believe that those people are good and the other are dangerous Ego already is being created just by the clothes that has been enforced on you without you even understanding. And of course, as life goes on, not all of us will keep following exactly what has been given into our childhood. But whatever it is that we follow, Whatever it is that we choose to follow, or at least we believe to choose to follow, it will again create a new ego. All that you believe is good and bad is a product of ego. All that you love and hate is again a product of ego. Your name, your nationality, your color, even your gender. All of this again is ego. But what is ego? The most simple way to explain it is by telling you what it is not. Ego is not yourself. Ego is all the rubbish that has been accumulated in hiding your true self. Just like when we find gold, we must remove all the dirt and the rock in order to see the true beauty of the gold. And the dirt and the rocks is ego and the gold will be the self. And the true self has no ideology, 
the true self has no preferences, no name, no passion, and yet the true self, what you truly are, is already perfect. But we go on giving fashion, creating a false mask that we wear every day. And we go on trying to protect it by our prestige, by how we look, by how we speak, etc. But in fact, it is just a mask. And we keep changing this mask again again and again but for most of us it is an unconscious choice and we even believe that it is always the same personality but it is not at all think about how you act with your family how do you act with your loved one how do you act at school at work etc in every of those locations and with every of those beings, you suddenly have a new personality, a new way to talk, a new way to stand, a new way to feel. But if you remain centered always in the true self, which is unchangeable, untouchable, infinite. Then whatever life will ever throw at you, you will be fine, because you are untouchable and unchangeable. When you are truly centered in the self, we know that all that we see is Maya, it is illusion, but yet we are here, we are feeling it. The illusion is real, but still has nothing to do with the truth. And when we see Maya, when we see the illusion for what it truly is, then the ego cannot even survive a second. But still, ego will be used, of course. Because even for me to make a video at the moment, there is no way to speak without ego. Because there is a way that I stand, a way that I sit. I sit in sadhasanas. I speak a certain way. I vibrate in a certain way. This is ego molding itself for the situation. But even as I use this ego, there is no identification with any of it. But still, ego is used to communicate. So one who is spiritually awake or enlightened, he will still or she will still have to use ego. But there will never be identification with the ego. Therefore, it will never be like a rock that cannot change, so stiff and solid, nothing can change our mind, nothing can be new, because we firmly believe the same thing again and again. But instead, we will base our knowledge no more on just what others says, on what we see and what we hear, but on what we experience within ourselves. So ego is all 